Hey guys, Vamzi here. So in one of our previous videos, we showed you how to play NVIDIA GeForce Now games on Android TV. So if you're keen on how to do that, there'll be a link in the description below or one of the YouTube cards will pop up so you can watch that. But some of you did comment saying that there's quite a bit of lag even with ethernet. So in this video, I'll show you how to play PC games, you know, on your Android TV via a Steam link. Well, what's a Steam Link? For those who don't know, it's an app by Valve, the guys who made Steam in the first place, that lets you play Steam games on Android TV or other platforms. So all you need is a computer, Steam account obviously, because you want to have the games, and a controller. That way, you can just you know use the controller onto your Android TV and then start playing your games on an Android TV instead of just your computer. Sounds good? Well, let's dig into it and see what it's about, shall we? Now, before you actually start playing Steam games on other platforms, you need to enable Steam Remote Play on your PC first. On your computer, open the Steam app, that is the desktop client, and on the top left corner, click Steam, and from the drop down menu, click Settings. And in the new window, click Remote Play from the sidebar. You'll see an empty checkbox with words Enable Remote Play on it. So just click on that and press OK, and then you're done. Okay, next up is to actually install the Steam Link app on your Android TV. So I'll show you how to do it step by step. Now on your TV, navigate to the Play Store and search for Steam Link and install the Steam app. If it happens that the app is not available on Play Store, you can sideload the APK from APK Mirror, which I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Now, once you have the app installed, open the Steam Link app on your Android TV and then choose Get Started. The next screen will prompt you to connect a controller. You can connect a Steam controller or a regular PS5 or a PS4 controller or even any of the cheaper ones from Amazon. I've got a PS4 controller and I'll show you how to do that. And the steps are pretty much the same for any other controller too. Now press and hold the PS button and the share button or the create button on the PS5 controller until the light starts flashing. Now on your Android TV, go to settings Bluetooth and device connection, and then tap on DualSense or DualShock 4 from the list of devices that are available and connect to it. Now go back to the Steam Link app. Steam Link will now look for computers running with the desktop client. If your PC is connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you'll see it there. Like say if your home and your PC with Steam installed is at a friend's place, then click on others. It doesn't matter if you're on the same or a different network, you'll not get a pin that must be entered on your Steam desktop client. Now go back to your PC and the remote play window and you'll see a small dialog box, so enter your code there. And that's it. Now Steam Link is connected to your computer. You can confirm this by looking on your TV's name under the devices. Now that it's done, Steam Link will now perform a test like scanning your internet speed for optimal gameplay and then it'll show you the library. All right, now that we've actually set it up, let's see how good the games are in motion and in gameplay, and then test it out ourselves. So on your Android TV, you'll see your Steam library. So using your controller, find the game that you wanna play, and then choose play. Let it load for a second, and then here we go, let's play. The experience is pretty good. There is some delay considering the fact that it's over the internet, but nothing much. So there you go, that's how you play Steam games on your Android TV via Steam Link. Check out our other video on you know Android apps in this one that shows up here or in the link in the description below. I'm Vamzi, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.